Hey everybody, welcome back. Got another more bot review here. Uh, looks like we're on Pariso. It's a console game. This is Grandmaster 2. So this, this was the closest game. The DPS were having a pissing contest all game. I don't think the Zen pick was helping either. Some of our teams said the tank wasn't going to high ground enough against their pocket. Tank disconnected at the last push, but we had uh, less than one minute we lost anyway at that point. Uh, I know I wasn't very attentive to the DPS and let them die a few times. I popped one of my ults right when Sig did, and it, kinda, it was kind of wasted. I don't think I ex overextended too much, but memory isn't great. Yeah, the timing on the ult, that just sucks sometimes. Not really much you can do about that. Um, you can actually shoot that, and, and you know, with these GM games, a lot of times it's going to be a little nitpicky stuff like this. You can shoot that orb at about one second left on the countdown timer, and it's it's going to hit everybody as they walk out the door. Okay, so we can hear a Widow. Uh, I don't agree with that orb. We have full spray. Um, nothing's really going on. Uh, I would have rather... I would have liked to have seen a damage orb. You can shoot... What I would have done, and what I do on this map, is I would shoot a damage orb right there, and it's going to go over here, because the enemy team likes to congregate here sometimes before making their next move, like they are. Um, it also hits them, so uh, you can get a lot more uh, value out of that. We're not going to get any value out of this orb here. Let's see, who are you? F1. Still not used to the fact that I have a keyboard with the function keys again, so... I feel like we're playing a little bit too safe here. Um, because, so, their tank touched. Once we saw that he was touching, uh, that's my cue to go in on their back line. Because you can pick on these people, right? You you can kind of pick on their whole team, really. Um, with your Bastion being over here. Hog's in a really shitty spot. Okay, I'm actually surprised he lived there. Um... I would have, I would have stayed up here. Uh, I don't like this. You should have died there, honestly. The Widow should have killed you there, right? And that's just going to continue to get even worse and worse. Honestly, this, the fact that the Widow missed there twice now on you is uh, concerning. Okay. So now I would be... I would shoot that orb and then be looking to rotate. Because you guys got plenty of time um, to at least be able to contest. Probably not going to be that great because it's going to take your fat hog like forever to walk back. Um, but I'm still going to try, right? I'm still going to come over here. I would, I would probably, based on where the widow is, I'm probably not going to shoot an ore batter, especially because this is here. But I would like to come through here, okay, and just shoot an orb like towards the point, okay. Basically, we want to create a little bit of chaos here because your Kiriko's over here. We just kind of want to create a little bit of chaos around them so they have to look in multiple directions at once. Um, the chances of you guys stopping this push are slim, but that's how these games go. That was, that was dumb on your Sims part. Okay, we can hear the Widow again. Okay. Oh, got hooked, maybe? Maybe you just headshot her. Okay, good. I'd be here again. Yeah, I'd be looking to take the high ground. We know the Widow's dead. Okay, well, now she's not. But I would have been using that time to to get some get some poke damage in, kind of see where they're at, right? Because they don't have any other one-shots. I'm not really too worried about the Genji. Okay, I'd be looking at the timer here. So... One of the things I do as Moira is, since I'm not focusing so hard on my aim, I can focus on other things. And one of those is stuff like this. So I would call out, and this is only if you're you're in chat. Either way, you want to pay attention to it, right? Her ultimate is 15 seconds long, right? So she casted it at like 458 or 459. I would call out walls until, right, 445, right? Or 444, whatever, you know, just say something that's, that's close enough, okay? Um... And then pay attention to that. And see how careful you have to be with your, your positioning until her walls end. Okay. 
but right now we're, we're still we're doing nothing okay so we've been holding our orb okay and it, it seems like it seems like we played this we cast this orb because we like realized we were holding our orb and we just needed to get something out um i need you to look to position more aggressively okay it seems like and that's more like it that's more like what i expect from from a gm widow right you were it was just a split second that you showed yourself right that's all they need okay but i i need you to be looking for more aggressive positions that aren't in the widow's line of sight Okay, and that's hard, right? Especially on this, because it's very narrow. But that's what you have to do. You have to look around for it. Right? Again, we're we're playing very safe. Okay, we can hear the Genji over here. I would be going this way to challenge him. Right? Actually, he's on your Zen. I didn't even realize that. Um, and we just let all of that happen. Okay, we had a very big opportunity to swing that and go on the high ground and pressure the widow. Cause she's up there too and she killed your uh killed your hog okay so i feel like i feel like you uh you could have impacted this fight considerably let's go back let's go back to before your son died um because we can hear the genji over here right now Okay. He can't hear the Zen. It's just it was kind of unfortunate timing that he turned and looked down the the hallway right when the Zen was coming up. Um, hearing him over here and seeing my Zen over here, I immediately would have gone this way. Okay, there's a chance with how that played out that maybe the Zen would have died anyway because it looks like he deflected most of the shot, uh, most of Zen's volley, but. And your Sombra wants to go this way. This is this is big. Um, you also could have put a... That, that Widow was just shooting for free. Okay. Um, and then your Sombra ends up killing her. Right? If you would have gone up there with, with that, I think you guys would have taken this high ground. Right? At least force the Widow down, which means your Hog doesn't die. Right? You guys kill the Genji. Uh, and then you potentially swing this fight. So, of course, I'm not a friggin' psychic. I, I don't know what would have happened, but I'm telling you what is likely to happen. I don't know about this ult. Okay. What I would have done here is, if you're going to ult, okay, Hog can heal himself. What you want to do is take all the pressure off of him, and then he can heal himself. Right? Or, yeah, you know, he, like he's going to heal himself anyway, but then he, like, he can get back to full health. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shoot a damage orb, and then I'm going to put as much pressure on their squishies as possible. I don't give a shit about my hog. I want her to go away. I want you to go away. I want you to go away. Okay. Because right now we're just healing the hog, and that's it. We can do that with our spray. And the mercy's flying over you? I guess you didn't. Not that you were going to do much about it anyway, but it, it seems like you didn't even react to that at all. I feel like we're focused way too much on healing. Overall. Because it seems like we're hanging back a lot and then, like, shooting the orb at the ground, right? And making a little heal spot. Um, here's the thing. And especially, this is why heal botting doesn't work above... It really doesn't work technically in any rank, I would argue. Um, but like above a certain rank, heal botting, you, you, there's more damage than there is healing in the game, right? But in lower ranks, people are missing most of their shots. They're not focusing their fire on the single target, right? There's there's other reasons why you can out heal damage. At this rank, mm -mm. there's just too much damage, and it's gonna get focused. You can't, you can't do anything about this. Right? All you can do is make him die a little bit slower. Right? So he has, when he's self-healing, he has 500 health he can gain. He also has damage reduction while he's self-healing. He also had the Zen Harmony Orb on him. On top of that, he still died while you were healing him. Right? That's how much damage is in the game. So the way you get around that is stop healing and do damage. If you put pressure on that soldier and make him stop looking at the hog, right? Because he was doing the bulk of the damage. 
then now the hog's not taking damage anymore, and now he doesn't need healing. Okay, and then he's more likely to live. So to say that you never heal, obviously, is bullshit, right? There's, you have to find the balance of when healing is necessary and when damage is necessary. And a lot of times, from what I'm seeing here, you should have been damaging when you're healing. I, I, I feel like we're not using our sound cues very well. Um... I feel like I notice that more in console players, but maybe I'm just, maybe it's just me. Um, but I feel like I make that comment a lot on console players. And I don't know if it's because maybe a lot of people don't play with headphones or something. I, I, I just don't know. Um, but it seems like you don't really use your sound cues as much as you should. Um, when that Genji was chasing you and you backed up, when he stopped chasing you, right, you can hear that. Right? And that means you need to start. If he's going to give away space, you're going to take it. If he's going to take space, you're going to give it away. Right? Good orb. So again, we're not we're not doing anything. We're spritzing our heal. Okay. Here, here's an here's how how that could have gone differently, right? Okay. So let's say. So you're here, Zen's here, Widow's here. Okay. These two are very susceptible to Genji dives, right? And even you are at, at this rank. Right, but you're the most likely to live through it. Okay, so what do you think is better for you to be over here holding this space, and then when the Genji comes up here, you shoot your orb right, your, you know, your orb right here, and you you engage him right here, right? And then if he force him out, now you have access to this, or you kill him, right? Or he gets lucky and kills you, right? That happens too. But if he does, then they can see it. They'll they'll know, right? But this is a duel I would take, and this is space I would take because, look, our Zarya is right here, which means they're either looking here or they're looking here, but they're not looking both ways, okay? And if they they are looking both ways, that means some of them are looking one way and some are looking the other way, right? And this is free value, okay? So you pull the Genji away from these two. You force them out of here, and then all of the shit that just happened right here doesn't happen. He dashed in, right? Which was kind of a stupid move. Because I, I don't think maybe he didn't know as many people were there as were actually there. Because um, I don't think, uh, like, it ended up working out. Just whatever. Maybe that's why I'm not GM on DPS. What the hell do I know? Um, it seemed like a very dangerous dash. All right, let's go back to you. So, anyway, you can see how your lack of pressure... And how passive you're playing is is costing opportunities for your team. This was good. That was a good ult. Stayed near cover for the soldier ult. It was good. So again, I want to see more pressure. Okay, so the Zen transcended. You don't need to shoot a healing orb there. Shoot a damage orb at the Genji. Okay. So... How you can help your Widow is by taking alternate angles, right? See how... So basically what happened is she got pressured really hard there and you're still there. So she's like, okay, I need to move my angle. You can do that before that ever happens, right? And keep her... Make her uptime stay longer, right? Okay. So now that she's here, I want to be here, okay? All right. Pay attention to where your team is, okay? I wouldn't... I wouldn't really go past this point because they have some very, very mobile heroes that can chase you down. Um, so that's dangerous. But this is good because you can shoot damage orbs in here too. Okay. So our, our positioning so far has been super, super passive.
And it feels like we're like maybe a little bit out of place, like we feel a little bit lost here. Like we're just kind of looking around because we don't really know what's going on. Okay. And see, the thing is, is people are still making mistakes in this rank. That Sigma just friggin' walked all the way out there, right? Or floated or whatever. Okay. And he got punished for it. That was a really good ult by him, though. He knew you didn't have Fade. People bunched up there. That was good ult. Got a, our, our cover usage was f fine. The problem is, is we didn't back up fast enough, right? We didn't retreat soon enough. Okay. And then, because then when we faded, we kind of stayed in the same spot. Yeah, big picture, very, very, very passive play. Five, four, three. And part of that is looking around where you can help your team uh, either take angles or help them in their duels, right? So, like when you had that Zen wanted to go upstairs, right? And this is where looking around helps a lot. And that might be harder on on console, because for me to look around, it's I mean, it's super easy. I'm just moving my mouse around, right? But it's not a stick. Um, but I, I, I don't know, but looking around helps with that a lot. See, again, I think we're healing too much. We should have been putting the pressure on that Genji, because one of two things would have happened. You would have either killed him, or the Mercy would have started healing him, which means she's not healing the Sigma, which means your tank can just run him over, okay? So... Stuff like that, I need you to do that more often because that is Moira's strength. Moira excels at that kind of shit. Okay. Now, stuff like that, that's not your problem. Deaths like that are not your problem. She was she was not close enough to cover to live. Okay. That is no fault of the support. The fault of the support comes when if she takes cover and then is fucking sitting there for 25 years because nobody's healing her, that's a support issue, right? If she doesn't have access to a immediate access to a health pack, right, and is relying on the support to heal her for that, that's 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 support issue, okay? Okay, this sound crazy. I would have ulted right here. This is a huge stagger. Okay. Now he dies anyway, right? You can't rely on that stuff. And Moira's ult build so fast, it's just not worth sitting on. I like that orb. Right? Because even if nobody's up there, one, you know now nobody's up right up there, but then it ends up bouncing out into where they're going to be. That's a really good orb. So you see how we're still we still have our ult like we've been just kind of sitting on it. We could have been already building another ult. Okay. Okay. Good retreat. You recognized it there. That you guys were down too many people. Can't swing that fight. Get out. That's good. Okay. I like that you take the time when you do that to to aim your orbs. I talk about that in a lot of reviews where people are just shitting out orbs. That even in high GM, I do the same thing. I will like stop, aim my orb exactly where I want it to go, and then and then shoot it. Right? Not always. Right? You get you get good at like some really um, at, at some orb casts. Right? But many of them are like that. I'll just stop and absolutely just aim. Okay. Um, this is another instance where I, I need you to be putting pressure somewhere else. So, I think your tank should have gone up here. You, you're talking about the people were com complaining that the tank wasn't taking high ground enough. I, I think your tank should have come through here earlier. Uh, I agree with that. He, he kind of stood there just kind of fucking around with the Sigma for a little bit too long. That was a terrible ult. Okay. Well, it got the soldier to ult, but you just got you guys just lost Annihilation, so that sucks. That was a bad ult. Um, 
on that note, I guess I kind of forgot to talk about it. Like, if your team's just arguing in chat, yeah, you didn't say whether or not you participated in any of that. I wouldn't worry about any of that shit. I don't, I don't care. Um, as I've said in other reviews, everybody here is at the same rank. Nobody knows better than the other. Okay? So, they can shut the hell up. Right? I don't care if they're all in GM. Okay? Stop telling other people how to play. Right? Um, so, if you did participate in, you know, any of the discussion, I would have just stayed out of it. Um, because stuff like that mid-game, it just... Just, uh, just doesn't doesn't do any good. Um, I liked that play. I liked that you didn't fade right away uh, and you kept the pressure on him. That was that was good play. Yeah, he's on the high ground now, right? And, and you guys cleared them off the high ground and took that fight. Okay. I feel like we were a little late to get off the cart there. Um, because that's where they're coming back from, right? Uh, and you don't want to be the first person in between the two. Like, the first person between your team and theirs. Yeah. He got greedy. He got greedy. So, I, I would have shot the orb that way, right? Because that's where he wants to run. Right. May have been able to kill him, maybe not. But he definitely got greedy there. I don't like these orbs. I like the concept of those orbs. I think it's great to, to shoot them at the floor like that. But you're, you're getting zero value out of them. And what it feels like to me is that you're using the orb to use the orb. Like, because you realize you've been sitting on it so long. So it's like, here's my opportunity to just use the orb. That was dangerous. Like, the hog walked by? Okay, fine. Right, but we can't just walk in front of the enemy team. Okay. The answer to that is I would have stayed there for a second, seen if the Sigma come in, came in. If he came in, then I would have faded, right? Then your Zen can get fucked. Um, good fade. Also, I'm, I, I'm fine with you using the Coalescence on the Zen on the last ult 2. Last uh, Sigma ult. I'm fine with that. And it was good use there, too. Good. That was dangerous because I, I liked that we waited to fade, but then we were, we were still out in the open when, when we came out of fade. But you guys holding the high ground here is very important. It looks like you capped us too, so that's good. Yeah, so it's definitely close. Yeah, so I, I definitely want to see more, like, paying attention where the enemy team is. Right? I, that's gotten, a, gotten us in hot water a couple of times. Um, and then our positioning, like, or, like, uh, being aggressive with our positioning. This, I, I don't like this. Okay? I don't like that it's you two. Like, one, I don't like that you're on it. And two, I don't like that your freaking tank's on it. Okay? The Zen should be on it. Okay? The Zen or the Widow, but honestly, I'd put the, I'd put the Zen here. Okay. I want to be moving up, and I want my tank to be moving up, right? I want to control this ground, because when we get around this corner, okay, we want to control these two high grounds. That way the cart can keep moving through the corridor. But I don't like when there's more than one person on the cart, and I certainly don't want it to be me that is the one person on the cart. I will if I have to, um, but I don't want it to be me, and I don't want it to be my tank. That was a really good hook, though. Again, we're not we're not providing any value right now. We're spritz healing, but we're okay, whatever. Uh, but and we're also just taking damage. Okay. Okay. Um, in this instance, <laughs> when I say don't heal bot, whole hog is heal bot time. Okay. Whole hog does a shitload of damage. You do nothing. Okay. Keep him as as healthy as possible because what you don't want to happen is for him to get low enough health that he feels he needs to use his breather which means he's not shooting anymore okay so i go full-on heal bot mode when they whole hog i would even if i had my ult i would have used it there right 
because you're getting them to back up. You're putting a ton of pressure on them all at once, right? You know, whole hog is, it's a, a very kind of polarizing ult and the fact that it can be really, really good if you get people up against the wall and stuff like that. Uh, but it can also be kind of like super mediocre if you're just kind of out in the open and just pushing people around. Um, Coalescence can help put a ton of single point pressure uh, where you need it. And honestly, um, it was unfortunate that we had to use Transcendence there. I would have liked to see you ult. We're holding on to our ult again. Um, and then you would have had Transcendence for this, which you guys killed him anyway. But Transcendence is a stronger ult, support ult. And it takes longer to build than Coalescence, right? So if I, I, I don't want to have to use Coalescence for... I don't want us to have to use Transcendence for something where Coalescence would have been good enough. And you had it anyway, right? So I feel like we're sitting on it a little bit too long. All right. This is, this is good. This is all good stuff. Right? I like that you didn't panic when the Soldier ulted. You didn't panic when the Moira ulted. Okay, that's good. Okay, Moira doesn't have Fade. Okay? I would be screaming that shit into my microphone and going after her hard. Okay, that's that is that's big money when Moira doesn't have fade. Okay. It's not to say it would have would have swung the fight, but that's big. Okay. Alright, so big picture. Uh I want to see you pull different angles more often. And on top uh, included with that, we need to be way more aggressive. Okay. So we need to pull angles and think about what our team is doing and what we want them to do, right? Do I want my Widow to be able to take this certain angle? Okay, well, I'm going to go take this other angle so I can take the pressure off her and she can get some shots in, okay? Um, also, we are way too passive. Way, way, way too passive, okay? There is a time and a place for, for passive, and it, it can all happen in the same game, okay? And I'm not talking about healing, heal botting. I'm just talking about playing passively. We played way too passively. Um, we cast... Healing orbs where they didn't, we didn't need an orb at all. Um, and we just kind of hung back and spritzed people instead of doing damage. Okay, so need to be looking for damage all the time, always, always, always looking for damage. Okay, that doesn't mean going on some hard flank again, doing some weird, crazy TikTok more weird horse shit. It it means putting yourself in a position where you can put pressure on the enemy team, then heal when you need to. Right, that is Moira's. That's Moira's thing. Okay, damage and healing. Okay, what. Where she excels is the fact that she is very hard to kill, right? She's slippery. She's very mobile. She can get into a lot of places and out of a lot of places, right? So take advantage of that, okay? Um, our ults were decent, but I would say they weren't great. Our target priority, um, we held on to them too long, and our target priority was kind of iffy. There was that one on defense where we literally just used it to heal the hog and did nothing else with it. Um, I'd like to see more focus on hitting more people with your ultimate okay and then this is just this is character specific stuff but when it comes to whole hog yeah 100 percent. because one if you would have ulted there your zen wouldn't use transcendence and that's huge 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 um i think this was a huge misplay on your part right and this is good right you're in gm and you're still making mistakes so guess what you fix those mistakes and you're going to climb even higher right so, you, you've gotten this far, right, making these mistakes. So, think about how much farther you can get when you, when you tighten this stuff up. So, um, good stuff. All right. So, aggressive positioning, high ground, looking for opportunities to, to be aggressive and help your team. Okay? Like taking the high ground, like when the Zen died and stuff like that. Okay? Um, looking for opportunities to do damage. Okay? And... Um, not holding onto our ult and then being more more target specific uh, with our ultimate. So, all right, well, good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks for submitting. I enjoyed watching this one. Um, it's nice watching other other people that are there's you know in the in the high ranks, right? That's uh, that that you're willing to listen to me talk about it. So, all right, well, uh, let me know if you have any questions and good luck.